If you're at all compelled about the longevity and expansion of the Miz T Show, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Links below. Hey up, fools. Big T here, and uh, just want to say that Miz T is back. Fools. <laughs> Occasionally, I just get these stupid comments on my videos. Um... Unfortunately, by Nintendo fans. <sighs> Just the dumbest comments ever. And uh, if you've noticed a change in my tone over the last few months, uh, probably most of the year, up until now, um, I've tried to be a gentler foos, but it's not working. <laughs> it's just not working. Mizza T is back in full effect. And, uh, this is just, you know, one of the many dumb comments I have to deal with. I made this video very meandering, just middle of the road, positive video about um, 3DS games I'd like to see on the Switch or successor to those games that I'd like to see on the Switch. And there's a contingent of weird people, weirdos, I hate to call them that, that hear something you never say. I did a top five video about 3DS games I want to see on the Switch and it hurt this dude's butt. And before, I wouldn't put the name of the person I'm like, I'm not going to be the nice guy anymore. I'm just going to... If you say something stupid, and I feel like it's legitimately stupid, it's something that you actually feel, you're not just trolling or something, I'm going to let everybody see your stupidity. And th these are the types of the comments that I, I, I'll I sit back in my couch or my chair and let out a long sigh and be like, why even do YouTube? <laughs> anymore so Chariot Soblin and I'm going to call him Soblin because he's crying about nothing makes a comment saying since when did you become a 3DS hater since when was 5 million sales considered a flop I don't know what that is refer in reference to you can go back and wa go watch my video top 5 uh, games I want to see on the Switch and s find anywhere in my commentary that I talk about 5 million being a flop or any I have no idea what this guy's talking about but just because I want to see 3DS games on the Switch it hurts this guy's butt and I don't know why the 3DS is what almost going on 8 years old uh, it was pretty old tech when it came out and it has limitations and I would like to see some of its great games not just die or, or just be left to that console show up on uh, the Switch, which is successful and could help some of the games that didn't sell well, or especially early on in the 3DS, help those games come back and sell well on the Switch because uh, a lot of the audience is there. This guy didn't want to hear that the audience isn't there. Can he tell me one big Nintendo game that came out on the 3DS this year? And I mean developed by Nintendo. Obviously, there's Metroid. Uh, Samus Returns, but Nintendo didn't even develop that. They farmed that out to a, a different development studio. Um, and there's nothing wrong with the 3DS being on its last legs. It's been around a while, and it's okay. These things happen. We move on from hardware all the time. That's how technology works. But some people just don't want to let go. You have people that are weird about the Wii U in this way, and I'm finding people that are weird about the 3DS in this way. And my video is completely harmless. Like, uh, it's a harmless top five video of games I want to see gain, or, gain more success um, or any success because games like Codename Steam did terribly on the 3DS. And I think it had to do with mostly to do with Majora's Mask coming out within, I think, days of, of uh, Codename Steam. And it's a new IP, and it was kind of weird, and, you know, had a weird mechanic, but it's a great game, and I just want to see it do better, uh, do well. 
and that bothers some weird people um, so like I said I'm going back <laughs> to how I used to do and uh, I'm just I'm not gonna care I'm not gonna care um, Mr. T's back and so is Nintendo and that is a great thing it is a great thing that the switch is doing well Nintendo fans who are upset about that it is a great thing it's like it these guys have like battered wife syndrome or something I don't know it's like battered wives where um, I've seen oh there's too many games coming out should we should we be worried about that no <laughs> that's a good thing that there's a lot of games coming out because there's a variety a variety of games for everyone and I don't know if maybe it was the Wii U that gave people bad at wise. Since I love the Wii U. Wii, the Wii U is one of my favorite consoles of all time. It didn't the sales didn't matter? Um, Dreamcast and Saturn are two of my top favorite consoles of all time. So I don't care. I never cared about the sales, um, but the great games on it. I would like to see them enjoyed by more people. And obviously, uh, the Wii U. Um, didn't sell well enough for everybody to enjoy those great games. So I have no problem uh, with those games coming over to the Switch or, you know, same thing with the 3DS. Games that didn't sell well. Uh, the early games, like Kid Icarus. Kid Icarus sold okay. I think it sold somewhere around 800,000 copies or something like that, which is okay. Um, but... A lot of people just didn't get to play that game, you know, other than early 3DS adopters who were in tune or were paying attention. So I just want that game to be played by a lot more people. Same thing with Codename Steam. Codename Steam came out when the 3DS had a pretty good install base, but nobody bought it. And the audience on the Switch is a very um, eclectic audience, a very uh, varied audience. They seem to buy a lot of different types of games. And a game like Codename Steam, I think, would do better on it than it did on a 3DS. And what is wrong with that? This is a Nintendo game. You want it to do well. You want success. Chariot Soblin, what are you crying about? I just don't understand. What are you crying about, fools? And it just makes no sense. And then he goes on in another comment. 3DS still has a huge audience. Stop lying. I just, uh, uh, I own a 3DS, and I guarantee you, Chariot Soblin, I have more games on it than you do on yours. I, uh, the install base of the 3DS is one thing. It is another thing for people to actually be still actively buying games on it. And that audience is shrinking. People that are that are uh, focused on buying new games for their 3DS, that audience is shrinking. They're moving over to the Wii, or the, look at me. They're moving over to the Switch, which is fine, because it's also a portable. So, you can still have your 3DS, and the Switch can also coexist. It, by the way, it's a Nintendo console. You should be happy for that. It's just, it's just, it's just strange. These are, like I said, these are the type of comments that I've seen over the years that just make me want to, you know, hit the delete button on my channel. It's just like, it's insane. Insane. You don't have to slit yourself up into little factions. We're all Nintendo fans. We all like the success of Nintendo. And speaking of that, the Switch is doing very well. The 3DS has done very well. It still sells pretty good. Um, but it's a console, it's a handheld at the end of its life cycle, and that's fine. You can still have it, you can still buy things for it, but a bigger audience is a bigger audience. And while there's a lot of people that have 3DSs, there's not that same fervor and activeness for new 3DS games. That's just a thing. Nintendo realizes that. That's why they haven't put you know, big efforts, especially with this year, well, any development efforts into the 3DS. Because they are focusing on the Switch. 
That's why they merged their 3DS uh, studios or uh, development studios with the home console because they were prepping for the 3DS or they, they were prepping for the Switch and that's where their heart is right now. That's where all the work is going right now. Nobody is saying, other than games that were already in development, nobody is making new games for the 3DS, which is fine. It's okay to move on. It's old, it's old hardware. It's old technology. Let's move on to the next thing. And the next thing will be old technology at some point. At some point, people will be saying the same thing about the Switch. And it's fine. It's uh, just, it's strange, people. But uh, like I said, you're going to see more Mr. T fools, you know, doing his thing. And uh, I'm just, I'm going to be, a, I'm going to be more belligerent than I have been. I've been trying to be cool and laid back, but I'm going to be more belligerent. Um, you might see more fanboyishness <laughs> from me because there's a lot of stupid stuff going on around. And uh, He's meditating. I'm a voice that can combat the stupidity. Like this, these stupid comments on my very harmless video. <sighs> and uh, I saw that Kenoshima... Uh, said he wants 20 million uh, switches sold in the next fiscal year, which is 20 million more over what we have already, which is over 10 million. So 30 million switches by the end of the the next fiscal year, which is uh, uh, confidence. You know, he's not saying that about the 3DS. The 3DS is going to continue to sell and continue to be a revenue stream. Uh, just pure profit at this point because that thing, uh, you know, with the technology can't be that expensive in it. And they're just making pure profit off of that console. So that's also good. But uh, as far as the games go, the Switch is the future. It is the now. It is the future. It's okay. It's Nintendo. We're all Nintendo fans. Let's be happy. <laughs> and oh, I just don't understand this stuff. Maybe you guys do. You can let me know <laughs> what this mentality is about. Um, you want to fight battles, fight battles against stupid fanboyism from the other sides. Don't come to me and whine to me about stuff when I'm a Nintendo fan and I'm all about Nintendo success. This is the stupid stuff that makes Nintendo fans, the channels that we've had uh, over the years, just they just give up, don't want to do it no more because they want to deal with this dumb infighting for nothing. You should be celebrating. It's celebration time. Switch is selling. Nintendo's doing well. We're going to get uh, Nintendo IPs that we didn't get on the Wii U. We're going to get more Nintendo IPs that we didn't get on 3DS. Um, Nintendo says they're doing untraditional IP stuff they're working on. They're working on, you know, a lot of cool things. Let's be happy about that. You know, fight stupid stuff in the media. Fight, you know, stupid fanboy uh, narratives. But don't come to me, a Nintendo fan. Uh, one of the, f the the last few channels uh, who who was around, you know, basically early Wii U or before. Don't come in me with this nonsense. I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play Mr. Nice Guy anymore. I'm gonna throw you out there, your name and all. No more blurring out your name and you know I'm gonna I'm gonna call you out. <laughs> Because, you know, you gotten too, I guess you got, some of these, some of these guys got too comfortable. And uh, it's time to get, it's time to take your gloves off, fools, and uh, do my thing. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, what do you think? You agree, do you agree with this guy? Uh, I hope not. <laughs> um, I'm one of the champions. I'm one of the Nintendo champions. Why are you sobbling, chariot sobbling on my, my, uh, my innocent video is just asinine. But uh, anyway, Nintendo's back. Mr. T's back. It's going to be an interesting 2018. Big things are coming for the channel. And I'll see you fools on the flip side. Thank you for watching and listening as always. And I'll see you fools next time. Peace out. And celebrate.